Auckland waterfront is the city side stretch of the Waitemata coastline where the city meets the sea. 20, even 10 years ago, this whole area was dominated by the port. People didn't really want to come here for recreation. But today, it's a real destination, the Auckland waterfront. People want to come here to eat, to hang out, enjoy the harbor, and live. It's the reason why I chose this area for my latest restaurant, and we love it. Our waterfront is a melting pot of many cultures, from tourists to people that work here, to a growing number of residents that choose to call it home. We'll discover the way learning about her Croatian grandfather has made a local woman feel connected to the place she was born. He's been described as a very loving, warm, humble person who would just be amazed that his life is of such interest to people these days. A young couple dish up some traditional Russian Jewish fare. It helps with the, the homesick to make our mom's food and feel home again and close again. Our mom's really excited to hear if we manage to do it right and if it's tasty and if it's close enough, yeah. A German man shares his skills with the locals. People come together and share the fun services to offer. Like here today at the waterfronts, have fun, try out things together, encourage each other. That's what I like about the service. And we'll hear the haunting poetry written by survivors of the 2011 earthquake in Japan. Because I, I remember the day of the disaster. It's very emotional. I'm Michael Dareth, and this is my neighborhood. I come from Connecticut, the heart of New England. My father's Irish descent and my mother's is Italian. There's a lot of parallels between the Irish and Italian migrant communities in the US. They both fled economic hardship. They have a deep love and connection with their family. And most of all, they love hospitality and they love food and drink. It's a pretty great cultural mix. I backpacked through Australia and Southeast Asia in my early 20s. Standard behavior for most young Kiwis, but a bit more unusual for Americans. I ended my trip here in New Zealand, and it left such an impression on me that when my wife and I were dreaming of opening up our restaurant, I just had to be here. Thomas Hintz was born in Germany, and he took a leap of faith to pursue his dreams of bringing an old European tradition to life here in Auckland. My name is Thomas Sins, and I was born in Germany, the eastern part of Germany, and then I grew up in the northern part of Germany. Germany has a long history in circus, as strong, there are so many families, circuses, touring. Both kids learned the civil skills from a very early age. I was really impressed with Fugo when he was two years old and pretty much could juggle, pretty much could do the Diablo. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then came Anna, and she was inspired by her big brother and started even earlier. I didn't grow up in a circus family myself. I got involved when I was around 25 years old teaching circus skills to people with disabilities. Eventually, Circus Fantasia was born, a largely disabled troupe, and we got to travel throughout Europe. It was very exciting, but in the end, I was exhausted. I finally met my wife, Frances, who happened to be a Kiwi. So we moved to New Zealand and started community circus groups here. Now, our whole family is involved in the Circability Trust, where we teach people of all ages and all abilities. 
Yeah, what I like here is the waterfront. It's very close to our St. Death Victoria Park. But it's also a beautiful developed place here in the heart of Auckland. It's the waterfront with the playgrounds, the families playing right here with all that space and height to play with. It's great location. What I love about circus arts, when people come together, have fun, try out things together, encourage each other, that's what I like about circus. I think there's something magic about the circus, yeah? What attracts people, but also sometimes it's like, ooh, people are a bit afraid of it. There's a dark side to the circus. right now here at our circus center in Victoria Park, uh, our circus gym. Uh, every Thursday night, uh, people like Jesse, yeah, our circus member, uh, coming in uh, from 6 to 9 p.m. to share and practice their circus skills. Some like Jesse do the pedalo, the unicycle, the acrobatic, the whole variety of circus skill. And what I like is the sharing side of it. People say, ah, how do you do that? Have a look what I have just learned last week or what I have seen on YouTube or whatever. It's a very social event. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, here we see again why I love the circus. It's not just the circus skill you try to master and to present. It's what I like, the social part of circus. People come together, people of all ages, all abilities, uh, and share the fun right now, or also the learning process, working something out. That's great. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. We're being here. Hips thrums, and I need thrums, and I me, we will be a, a clown, a giver, and you can take the battalion team. So it's like, awesome, and nice man, and just me, anything, making me a clown. Oh, this circus whole thing is awesome, you know. It's been in place, echo and cabanics, women, tenor hooks, day of life. Fights, um, yeah. Thomas is funny, he's outgoing, he's moving, he's human, he's really, really cool. Gaining confidence is a big part uh, of our work here. For all of them, I was talking about the all ages, all abilities, but also very important the fun side with it, that they have fun, and that it's sort of team building. Very important for our work is also bringing the people together, form a group, uh, have a good team spirit uh, in our work. The waterfront has been a conduit for many events that have shaped New Zealand's early history. From the early days when the wealth of Auckland flowed through this port to the industrial...